Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Well, I say good morning, but it might not be morning when you're watching this, but it is bang on nine o'clock. I've been up since six, just doing my no usual morning routine. Um, yeah, so today at the end of the video, I've got a very, very, very exciting announcement, which most of you I'm sure will have seen on Instagram or Facebook, but I'll go into more detail about it. But I'm, um, I'm, I'm currently sat on my trumpet in my getting ready room, my boudoir as I like to call it, with the heat run. It's freezing. It's ridiculous how cold it is. Um, and I spend most of my time here this morning, so rather than put the heating on, I've just uh, have, have got that thing on. Um, yeah, so I was going to talk about today um, how my health issues have changed me as a person. Like I've spoke about how it's affected my hairdressing career. So I just thought I'd like <clears throat> say how it's changed me. Huge loads, it's changed me massively. Um, it hasn't, uh, it has been a, a point, like a bad change, not a bad change, like you know, just with depression and anxiety, like it broke me. I was like a very, very broken woman, like, it, it changed me after the after my surgery five years ago and it nearly killed me. You know, my lifestyle had to change, you know, I stopped going out as much, cut the drinking back massively, started looking more into health. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got really, um, it's like heavy that it affects my throat. But um, yeah, um, so, but then it was the shoulder thing that like made everything just spiral out of control because I was in so much pain when I was finishing work with my, like I went to East Terrace and I was finishing work in so much pain. I was just literally just going home and just sitting on the sofa, necking, um, I think it was 500 milligram ibuprofen and like having a glass of wine. And then I saw my consultant and he, he, he obviously saw my notes and saw about my shoulder. <clears throat> And I told him I was taking the, the roof in and he was like, that has to stop straight away. That is just no good for my bowel. So I stopped doing that and then I stopped taking a more healthier approach. But at that point, I was just not going out because I was just in so much pain. I was just finishing work and just going home and lying on the sofa and just being so miserable, isolating myself. Um, and then after surgery number one on the shoulder, uh, well, it's happened many of times, uh, just so low, like you, when you're that low, you can't go any lower. I was literally a broken woman and you know, then that affects your mental health. So again, it was just changing me. Like I used to be a social butterfly and out all the time and just completely, completely isolating myself. Um, and I have been doing it as well this year. Um, it's hard not to when you're suffering. You just feel like you don't want to go out, you don't want to see anyone, but then when you do see people, you do feel much better. But it was, I think it was like two weeks ago on the Saturday night, I was in bed at half seven because my my bowels were that disgusting. I felt vile and I woke up every morning, I, every Sunday morning, I always speak to my dad and he was like in, in his Welsh accent, all right, love, how's it going? <laughs> I was just burst into tears. I didn't even feel emotional at, at that point and then I just burst into tears. I was like, Dad, what's happened to me? I used to be a social butterfly and now I'm just miserable. And so since that point, I've made a conscious effort to reach out to my friends, get more dates in the diary to see people. And, and it's been really, really nice. Um, and even on like bad days, I'm still, no, I'm not cancelling. I'm going out. I think it was, I think it was last sat Saturday just gone out. I, I was in a bit of a bad way. And then um, I met up with my friend, had a good cry, but then had a lovely time, and then went to my friend Amy's for tea and had such a lush night, even though I was in horrific pain. But yeah, it's about like making an effort and getting out there, which I'm really, really like pushing myself to do. Cause it is hard, um, especially cause as soon as I wake up with the certain pains, then my I've just got really bad anxiety and it's just, a hard work getting yourself ready. As soon as my first client arrives, I'm great. Well, I'm great. I get on with the fact that I'm in pain. It just blocks it out. So yeah, I am making a conscious effort, but it has changed me massively. You know, I used to have gone clubbing and stuff like that. I mean, that might have changed anyway because I've gotten a bit older, but um, do I'm terrified to go out for meals. 
yeah, so like I always make excuses not to go for meals because it's just, just too much worry for me. But I'm trying to let, let go of that. And when I do get this kit on the 9th, fingers crossed it'll be sooner, um, then I can be a bit more, you know, laid back with my meals. And I'm so looking forward to, to getting this kit because I've got like, Play, like a list of places that I want to go for food and have meals. I'll always be a healthy vegan and a whole food vegan but when I go out for meals I can, you know, I won't have to worry as much about the oils and stuff set, set in my gut. Yeah, but anyway now enough of that, on to my exciting news. So I reached out to um, a client of mine who's, I think she's in marketing but she knows everyone. It was her actually years ago that nominated me for Woman of the Year award. <clears throat> so I rang her and said, you know, I really wanted to try and raise awareness for like bowel disease and also chronically ill, people living with a chronic illness that don't look chronically ill, because that is just me. And so she said she advised me to get in touch with a, um, a charity and she said she'd have a think about what she could do. So anyway, she messaged me saying that there's a guy interested in my story in the Chronicle. So I had to email him like a brief about my history. And he said he was very interested in me and could I give his num my number? So I passed on my number. So I'm waiting to hear from them. And I called the Bowel, Bowel Disease Research Foundation. And they said, if you could send over a little video of yourself um, explaining your story, we'll go from there. Obviously, the, it wouldn't send because my Wi-Fi is so rubbish. But in the meantime, he'd me emailed me. He'd looked at some of my YouTube videos and he said, you're exactly what the charity needs. We're about to launch um, a massive campaign about you know raising awareness for bowel illnesses. And he says, you're exactly what the, this campaign needs. So we want to like, if, if we, if you, uh, excuse me, if if I'm okay with it, they would use me as a major part of the story and like use me as the mainstream, which I was buzzing about. So he sent me over like five questions that I had to answer. But what I did is I put them in like each answer went into a little video. So it keeps cutting out because the camera cuts out when it overheats. It's not really, well, it does it anyway, and it's got him to do that heater. Yeah. So I um I recorded these videos answering the five questions. But they wouldn't send last night, so I'm going over to my friend Amy's today, and she's gonna. Um, I'm gonna link on her Wi-Fi and send them there. So it's literally given me a new lease of life. Like I've had a really good three days. Um, still my usual pains and stuff, but that's that's you know that's always gonna be with my life. But I've just felt really good in myself. Like that all my pain and suffering is gonna go and help. You know, can help other people. So I'm just over the moon and I can't wait to get the ball rolling. My absolute dream would be, which I am going to get in touch with them, um, I'm going to get the Chronicle article out, get, you know, start working with the Bowel, Di the bowel Disease um, Research Foundation. And my dream is to get on this morning and really go large and like really draw awareness because there's so many people out there suffering. So yeah, I feel really happy. Yeah, I feel really positive. I'm also been having Reiki every day for about 15, 20 minutes on my tummy. My friend Yago is so kindly um, gifting me it. It's just lush, so I, I called to his. 20 minutes max, he's been like, you know, working only on my tummy. And it's, I think it's, it must be helping because I have felt a lot better. It's like shifting all that negative energy, energy down there, which there is a plenty of that. But yeah, so I'm going to love, love you and leave you now because the camera's probably going to cut off again. But um, yeah, please subscribe to my channel and recommend it to anyone, everyone and anyone, especially if they've got chronic illness or they're interested in a healthy lifestyle. On that note, the camera did just cut out. <laughs> yeah, so please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up because it really does help me get recommend, like, recommended to other viewers. Um, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. And any comments below, any suggestions for me, then please feel free to communicate with me because I would love that. Um, bye!